I'm a cop. That's my life. As a cop, personal feelings can't get in the way of work. But they do. Commander. Inspector Yang reporting. Your orders. Inspector Yang, sorry for the urgency. The financial minister and his staff are in grave danger. They've been taken hostage. We want your assistance. Do we know the MO? Yes. Actually, here. We've got a live feed from in-house security. Time is of the essence. They have threatened to kill one hostage an hour. Your transmitter. The minister is experiencing some medical complications. You'll be a nurse. Mm. Hey! Move it! <clears throat> Turn! Hey! I'm a nurse! I came to help. I won't be searched. Go! Been lock and load. He needs help. It's a heart attack. Are you deaf? I need your help. Come here. Do as she says. Jessica, you get away! I just can't believe that you didn't get hurt either. You are really amazing under pressure. Be seated. 
At ease. We commend those who act above and beyond the call of duty. Congratulations, Inspector. It's hey, David! You. David! Jessica's here. Come on down. Hi. Hey, David. For you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. How are you? Wow. A friend got it for me in Hong Kong. <laughs> it's the latest style. Do you like it? Mm hmm I like it. Try it on. Hmm. Okay. What do you think? Mm-hmm. It looks good on you. <laughs> and I have a present. What is it? I wish you could have been there with me. I'll bet you were beautiful up there. <laughs> Here it is. If it wasn't for you, I would never have gotten it. <laughs> Did anyone else get one? No. You're kidding me. No. I'm really happy for you. With metal like this, you're pretty well on your way. You can work your way up the ladder. Certainly a make colonel. I wish it was in the cards for me. I think maybe I made a mistake. I should have gone to officer's training school. That's why I admire you. You put your mind to something, and then you see it all the way through. As for my life, it's going nowhere. I've got to make a change, and before it's too late. David, I know how you must feel. Just give it some time. The promotion didn't just help me. It's for both of us. And with that little extra money, I really think it could work. It's just not that easy. I need to change. You know what? I've been thinking about our future. Is that so? I want to go to Hong Kong. I just think it holds a lot of opportunities. I could get a job there, and once I'm settled in, I would send for you. David. Oh, hi. This is my old army pal, George. Hi. Hello. I've heard a lot of good things about you. Here's the train ticket and your visa. Oh, great. <clears throat> I'll call you, 10 a.m. Okay. See you. Bye-bye. Everything's been decided. What else is there to say? Jessica. Jessica. Wait a minute. Let me explain.
me he'd be here. That Alan. Hey, hey, look who just came in. Amy! Hey, all right! Yeah, hi. Yes. Happy birthday. Here, this is for you. <gasps> How sweet! Uncle, you've really made my day so special. Great. Uncle Bill! Come on, guys, you're off duty. <laughs> what took you so long? A sort of an emergency. Hey, Amy, it was all my fault. You know, I forgot that I left your present back at the office. Amy, this is for you. And here's another. You should have. Martin, give them a hand. Thanks, Martin. That's a okay. Oh. You know, honey, you shouldn't get mad at Alan. A cop's hours are always unpredictable. You better get used to it. I know. Martin's a cop, too, but I don't have to like it. <gasps> wow. Come look at this. It's lovely. Yeah. What do you think it means? It's a symbol that you are now ready to open the door to your future. Oh. I don't know, Uncle. Maybe it should stay locked. Hey, Martin, no jokes on my birthday. <laughs> Amy, hmm? this is for me. <gasps> wow! Oh, thank you. Come on. Don't you think Ellen deserves a proper thank you? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, just one little kiss, and he starts blushing like a schoolboy. <laughs> Amy. Let me show you how to work it. Mm -hmm. All right, break it up. Let them enjoy it. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> okay. David, I'm here. Let's stay on schedule. Everybody get ready to move. Just follow the plan. It's a piece of cake. You backing us up? I got you covered. Let's go. SEM is the latest in digital technology. With a simple laptop, you can monitor your building from anywhere, anytime, with no problem. Greatly reducing the police response time. Well, what do you think? For our company, it would be an asset. I agree. Sounds Gentlemen, good to me. may I show you more? Certainly. Quite early. We're not ready for you. Where's the manager? He's in a meeting. What do you want? You can't go back there! Get out! Ah! Oh no! What do you want? Alerting ah! all units. Robbery in progress at number 30 Harbor Road. Four men in white uniforms appear to be heavily armed. Hostages are involved. All units respond. Unit 5-4, please respond. Unit 601, report to scene immediately. 601, roger. Suspects are armed and dangerous. Extreme caution advised. Run away! Gotta get cracking, guys. They're heading in right now. Got it. Let's go. Code red. The cops are at the front entrance. Just get the hell out of there. Right. Move it. Wish my niece good fortune on her 21st birthday, and of course, good health and happiness. We've got him coming. 
covered. I guess we have to treat her like an adult now. See what's happening. They stole the security database system. As you can see, this puts us in a very delicate situation. How many clients at risk? At least 83 banks in Hong Kong, and many small businesses. The effect that this will have on the city, we just don't know. It'll be impossible to closely watch every single one. It might be trouble, sir. If we just put more men on it and get more information, I think we'll be able to catch them. I've been in touch with mainland officials on gang activity. They have agreed to give us the information. By tomorrow afternoon, they're sending a representative to help. What? Well, that's quick. Her name is Inspector Yang. When she last worked with Inspector Chan, she was outstanding. Her job here is to provide us with information. She is not to participate in any police activity. I want a smooth operation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, be careful. Goodbye, sir. Bye, sir. She sounds great. You know, it's really too bad you're engaged. She's all mine. See you later. Martin, don't tell your sister. Hey, calm down. We're partners, aren't we? Excuse me, are you Jessica Yang? No, I'm not. Sorry. Are you Inspector Lee? You must be Inspector Yang. How do you do? I'm sorry I'm late. I got caught in traffic. Well, next time. Maybe you should leave earlier. Well, my car wouldn't start. Not... Let me get that. No, thanks. Miss Yang, let me introduce you. This is my partner, Alan Kwan. Inspector Hello. Yang. It's nice to meet you. Please call me Alan. Should we go? Come in. I live here. You'll be over there. Amy, we're here. Amy. Didn't you say you'd help clean up today? Uh, I'm sorry. Well, I, uh... Hey, sis. Martin! Alan had to help me on important business. Inspector Yang, this is my sister Amy. I'm Jessica. 
Hello. Hello. She'll be here a week, give or take. What are you looking at? Quit standing around. Oh. <laughs> it sure is a nice apartment, don't you think? Oh, it's great. Thanks for letting me stay here. Oh, not at all. I was really hoping you'd get together with my brother, you know? Hey. Uh, maybe I've said too much already. I've got to finish packing. Um, and, uh, well, but please make yourself at home. And if you need anything else, Martin's right across the hall. I'm sorry about that. Oh? What for? Um, call me. If you need anything. All right. Huh? Amy? Amy? Martin, what happened? Did she scare you off already? I wish you'd stop embarrassing me. Well, like I've always told you, you always work too much and you never get out enough. She might be the one, you know. She's right. Whose side are you on? Besides, I bet she already has a boyfriend. You know, that reminds me of the time when Alan and I met. Let me see. Wouldn't let me go until I finally gave in. Remember, Alan? Hmm? She's not interested. Oh, stop making excuses. You always complain that you never meet anybody. This is the perfect opportunity, huh? Besides, I think she would make a beautiful bride. And I can't wait to be maid of honor. Well done. Thank you. When is your expert in underground explosives arriving? Tuesday, with everything that you asked for. Good. For you. I will call you later. Bye bye. Guy? He's a wanted man in China. Says here he was in the special forces of the Vietnamese army. Specialty smuggling firearms and people. Connected with the Hong Kong smuggling group now and hired by them as a mercenary. The name of the leader is Pan. Roland Pan? Do we know where he is? We do. I'll bring him in for questioning. Good. I'm coming too. I'm sorry. Hmm? You're here as an advisor only. We can't take you with us. But I can still advise you in the field. You don't know him very well. I know how he moves and what's up here. Our orders were to work together, remember? all you want today? How about some shrimp? No, thanks. Later. Okay, bye. Hey, Martin, what brings you here? Buddy, I brought some friends here. Hello. Hello. We're looking for Pan. Do you know where he is? Uh, feel free to look around. Step into my office. Come on. So what do you know? For you, that's a C note. A hundred bucks? You're kidding me, right? Yeah, you can always throw it back, but that's my going price for the catch of the day. <laughs> all right, just give it to me. The word on the docks is he's picking up some guy from the mainland. When does he do in? He usually slips in about noon when the harbor police change shifts. That's all I know. Man, look at the size of that thing. Ah, oh, that's a little one. Oh, that's a big fish. What, you guys never seen a fish before? Come out with me sometime. Catch one yourself. Hi. So, did he tell you anything? We better hang out till noon. 
Right this way. <laughs> the man over on the pier wearing the white jacket is Pan's lookout. Just keep an eye on him. Hey, here they come. Which one is Pan? The guy in the gray jacket. He must have picked up that one in the tracksuit. Do you know who he is? No, but look closely. He looks military. Martin, I'll check him out. No, let's follow him. We'll see where he's going. Okay, the bell! Alan, call headquarters. Check that car. DPC 2618, calling headquarters. Hey, John. Yes, sir. Hey, what are you doing? Knock that stuff off. Here you go. Divide it with the guys. Thank you, sir. It's nothing. Let's just hope there's a lot more where that came from. Without your leadership, we never would have had any of this. No. Here's the guy you should talk to. Hey, what is this credit nonsense? We're all gonna get rich doing this together, right? <laughs> Tommy. Here. Thanks. Notify headquarters. I think we'll need some backup, okay? Okay. Jessica, you wait here in the car, all right? Hey, hey, where are you going? To get the paper. I'm DPC 2618. I want to buy a magazine. I want to go with you. You've got to be kidding. Which one? Anyone will do. I'm not sure you can handle it. That's why I was asked to come here. I know, I know, but that's China, and this is Hong Kong here. Hey, that's eight dollars. How much? Eight. You know, you're here to provide information, not to participate in the action. You go back to the car. Martin. The guy just handed it to me. I didn't ask for it. So, you see... I didn't say anything. Can I see? Yeah? Alan. Okay. Check something out. What's at 61 Admiralty? Now, I already told you. Hey, hey, come on. Paul Wong. Uh, great to see you. John? Paul, you made it. What'd you bring us? Everything. I got it all. Let's take a look. Yeah. Hey, what's the hurry? I know you're good for it. Remember, keep your mouth shut. Don't you worry. You can count on me. You know that, George. Come on, guys. Jessica, you're not supposed to be Martin, here. Martin, across the street. See where the windows are painted black? That's got to be the hideout. Okay. Now let me take it from here. You get back in the car. I can't take care of you if something goes wrong. What are you talking about? I'm serious. Come on, let's go. I can take care of myself. Martin. David. What are we going to do with all these explosives and weapons? You'll know when the time comes. Don't worry. David's in charge. Nothing to worry about. DPC right. 2618, number 61, Admiralty Road is a vacant building. Any activity should be investigated.
Captain, what is it? We've been found. John, you take three guys and get all the stuff out of here. Right. Right. Take George with you. Here, oh, let's go. Come on. Right, sir. Okay. Here you go. So, what are you going to do now? Don't worry. I know what to do. Wait, hold on! Hold it! Hey, open it up! Open it up, it's me! Took care of the hallway. Got one more room. All right, Tommy. Now. Right. Don't come in here. It's dangerous. What yeah. are you doing? Wait. Jeez, are you out of your mind? I saw a man with an AK-47 go up the stairs. The way he carried it, he was definitely military. We don't know how many people there are. What do we do now? What do we do? Aren't you ready? We're almost Hurry. done. Where's our backup? Any time now. We can't wait any longer. Alan, you go up the back. We'll take the stairs. Wait, I'm in charge here. Go the back way. We'll take the stairs. Yes, sir. Go! Tommy, give me a hand. One? All set down here, Captain. We're all ready to go. Are two on the way? Wait till they're in position. You ready? Ready. Oh, God. Captain, the target's in my sights. Ready to blow. Paul, hold it. What? Just wait. Not yet. Captain, please repeat. Hold on. No! Do it! But the captain said no. Oh, shit! We can't wait! Get out of here! Jessica! What are you doing? Let's finish him up! Leave it! We got him! Let's go! Hold it! Bastards! 
Give him hell! Right! Find the cylinder! struggle was forced to kill the suspect in self-defense. Yeah! I'm gonna kill you all! Let's go! We'll kill him at the police station! Just Let me go! Are you crazy? Those damn bastards kill my only brother. And you say calm down? They'll hm. pay. I promise. But now we have to get Paul Wong out. Because if we don't, your brother will have died in vain. Just a little while. George, call Roger now. We go in two days. Hello? Who's this? Just a second. Jessica? Jessica, hmm? Mr. David Chang wants to speak with you? Thanks. 
Yes? David? Where are you? Okay. I'll be right there. Thanks. I'll be back later. Oh, uh, Jessica. Yes? Are you coming back for dinner? Oh, I don't know yet. Jessica. David. You look really great. Uh, is that yours? Oh, no. It's a friend's. Oh. Get in? Mm. So how's it going? It looks like you're doing well in Hong Kong. I guess you can tell. I'm doing all right. And how do you like it here in Hong Kong? It's exciting. There's so many things to do here. It's so different from home. You know I missed you. <laughs> I went to the station the day you left, but I was too late. I thought I'd never see you again. You should know that I would never let that happen. Look, I had to come over here and try to make a goal of it for both of us. And now that things are going so well, I... Well, I hope you'll consider staying here with me. Is that a possibility? I wish I could say yes. Well, I hope you'll think about it seriously. It just wouldn't be the same without you. <laughs> come on. Jessica? Oh, Amy. Oh, hi. Hi. Ah, oh, this is my friend David. Hi, hello. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, here's my brother. Hi, I'm Martin. David. Do you want to join us for dinner? Uh, we'll think about it. Uh, all right, then. Bye. Goodbye. You know, you shouldn't let him get you down like that. You have to be strong. I wish you'd just leave me alone. Don't you understand, Martin? It's only because I care. Look, I've got things to do. David? Here you go. This makes me feel like I'm at home again. Ah, before I forget. I've always kept this close to me. Now I want really? you to have it. What is it? Oh, Jessica. I know how much this means to you. I couldn't possibly accept this. I hope you understand. I can't tell you how sorry I... Shh. This is happening too fast. Jessica, I hope you know how happy I am you're finally here. <clears throat> Damn cop to you. Yeah! Help! Help, brother! You shut your mouth. Help! Freeze, let her go! No way! Let her go! Drop your gun or I'll kill her! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Quick, throw it over here! Just don't hurt her!
So you're the bastard who killed my brother. Was it that bad? I'm okay. Just a scratch. Okay. What about Amy? She was shaken up. She'll be all right. Alan is with her right now. Oh, that's good. David? Thank oh. you. Don't mention it. That guy at your house. Do you know who he is? I'm not really sure. I've never seen him before. He says I killed his brother. Oh. Inspector, there's a fax for you. Thanks. Paul Wong from Vietnam. Paul Wong. Know him? Yes, in the Vietnamese army. He was one of my men. What has he done? We captured him when we made that raid. We interrogated him, but he won't say a word. He was well trained. Using standard tactics won't work. What do you suggest? Do you have a cigarette? Thanks. You know, maybe if you let me see him, I just might be able to help you out. We'll need permission to do it. Thank you. There's someone to see you. Paul Wong, do you recognize me? Captain! What do you think you're doing? Captain! I'm sorry. Martin, I think we should leave them alone. Mm. It's okay. I'll wait for you outside. Captain! I'm not a captain anymore. You're not? I want you to cooperate. Inspector Lee is my friend. Possibly he can make you a witness for the prosecution. And then he'll be able to do us both some good. Get up. Martin. Yeah. Give me a smoke. Sure. Here you go. We think it'll be in your best interest if we can come to an agreement. That is, if you know anything. I don't know where they're hiding now. All I know is they're planning to hit a jewelry store. It's called uh, uh, Sunset Jewelry. Okay. All right. Well, that should help. Uh, Captain, do you think I could? All right. Get a light from the guy outside. He's making a turn, heading onto Taxing Street. Over. Inspector Chen. I copy. How many in the car? Looks like four. Keep them in your sights. All right, one last time. Let's go through it again. I'm going in first. I'll give you the high sign as soon as it's all clear. You don't hear from me in five minutes. Come in after me. Got that? And don't forget to turn on that telephone. You know what the telephone is, don't you? It's important that you come in as soon as I call you. Don't mess up this time. Is that clear? Yeah, yeah we're all clear. Right, yeah. Hold it! I'm not 
not gonna spend that much money. Take this one. Oh, it's too small. What do you think, you're a movie star or something? Forget it. Wait for me, I'll take the small one, Herman! Oh, I'll come back tomorrow with my boyfriend. Thank you. Oh, she are ugly. <laughs> What's going on here? Stickle? Is this a joke? Let's see. <laughs> Can you believe we wear the same thing? <laughs> I just love that pen. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. Take it on. <laughs> oh, what a bitch. What the hell is this? <gasps> oh, I lost the earring. Oh, and I lost your pin. Oh. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, I lost one in my orange. I don't know. Where the hell did this come from? Be round. Hmm. Boob job. Oh, I found it. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Silly me. What are you talking about? <laughs> my, you're all wet. <laughs> Ever since I had my second child, they leak. <laughs> Is this a fingernail? Oh, no, it's not yours, is it? I've got mine, see? Oh, they're beautiful. I gotta call and get mine done. I spread passionate pink. What do you want me to do? Tell I'm him it's all under the bed. right now. Huh? Oh, 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 sorry. You know, I had one just like that. Where the hell you been, huh? You, you just found another off. one. And oh, it came out. You all right, Mom? It was a very easy. <laughs> well, sort of another one, Uncle Bill. Yeah, well, it was touch and go there. Yeah. What's that? Go to America? Well, cancel my holiday. No rest. See what's going on. Yes, sir. Fire! Help me! Help! I'll sound the alarm! Everybody, get out! Hurry! Alan, there's smoke everywhere. Tell all units to be on alert. Open the gate. Please! Get them out of here! Come on! Come on, go! This way! Help them out! Come on, move! Come on, move! Come on, this way! The fire is all the haste! Go on! Officer! They need you! Help out the other patients! Help them out! Go!
Yes. Uh, yes, sir. I, I apologize. But you'll have a full report tomorrow. Yes. If you just... No, sir. I'm sorry. I know I wasn't supposed no to... No more excuses. Do you have any idea what kind of trouble we've gotten ourselves in? Uncle Bill, uh, if you just give me a day, I'm sure no, that we I we don't can... have a day! What's wrong with you? For starters, bring in that David Chang! Pardon me, sir. Arresting him won't really help. I know I'm partly to blame. Please, let me talk to him and see what I can do. I think I understand how you feel. Under these circumstances, I cannot let you stay on the case. You're being used, Jessica. Your relationship with Chang has only proved to work against this case. But I thank you for all your help. I'm sorry. I know that you had only good intentions. Alan, I'm leaving it to you to take Jessica back to the airport. But... Have a safe trip. Martin, I want you to compile all the necessary information we have on Chang. Yes, sir. You're dismissed. Yes, sir. Jessica, come on. Those Martin, wait a minute. This is important to me. I'm sure I can help you out. You heard him. There's nothing I can do about it. Don't you know I can get you close to David right now? I know how he thinks. I know when he's telling the truth. He still trusts me. Believe me, I can help you. We're a team, right? Alan. I want the two of you to go to Chang's office and report back to me. Yes, sir. Great. Take my car. Let's go. So is he all right? OK. Then I'll tell Roger that everything can go ahead as planned. Tell him we'll meet him in the lobby and not to be late. David Chang's office. Uh, he's right inside. Pardon me, is David in? He's in the office. Uh, excuse me, miss, you can't just walk in there like this unannounced. But Betty, it's okay. She's a good friend of mine. It's all right. If you don't mind, I'd like to speak to David alone. Come on, let's go to your office. What is it, Jessica? I want to know if you were involved. Involved in what? Paul Wong has escaped. Escaped from the hospital? I need to know if you helped him. So? After all we've been through, you start questioning my integrity now? You don't trust me? I just need to hear it from you. All right. But you know something? You've obviously come to your own conclusion. And nothing I say will convince you. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter anyway. I'm going back to China. No, wait. As soon as I clinch this deal, I'll move back to the mainland, and we'll be together. I promise. Sure. Alan, they're coming out. You follow George and I'll wait for David. Right.
Watch out here. I'll go inside. Yeah, sure. You've got everything set, correct? Hey. Yes? Everyone else is standing by. Good. I'll check out and meet you out at the car. Okay. What's up? George, listen. You're really gonna have to be careful from now on. The cops are onto us. They're probably watching your every move. Got it. Hey, see that guy back there? I'm sure he's a cop. Now go meet us with a car. Okay. Let's go. Thank you. They're on to us. identified a shipping company in Saikung. We suspect that he's been using it as a cover, and it appears that he's actually been smuggling. On the books, at least, the company has a loss every year. Hello? Just a sec. For you, Inspector. Yeah, Alan. What's going on? How did he do that? Go on. Roger Davidson. Edward? Yeah? I need some information on him. Okay. Thank you. Phase one is completed. Ready to roll. Got it. Let's go. Okay. Central Hong Kong Bank. Thank you. Armored trucks here already, sir. They're early. Roger Davidson. He designed the central bank vault layout. Good, I'll check it out. What's wrong? Armed robbery underway at the central bank vault. Hello? Hello? They clipped the line! What's going on? I can't get a line! 
alarm's not working. Watch the elevator. Don't move. DPC 2618 calling in. Martin, we're at the bank, but nothing is happening. The bank's closed. Check for any suspicious vehicles. Some news. What is it? The bank alarms and all the telephones. They've just been cut off. I think that's them behind us. Martin, Roger's approaching the bank. Stay put. Don't do anything until the back of no, arrives. We have to go now. Alan, do you copy me? Hello? Hello? Wait! Wait! Good work. I brought my men. Did you know about this? No, I didn't. I'm sure you'll agree. You and I cannot carry out so much money. There'll certainly be enough. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Watch out for any tricks. What's going on? Roger just came out. They're about to make their move. <gasps> Hold on. Well, so what now? Contact the city planning commissioner. We need blueprints now. Everyone, please. <laughs> Cooperate with me. Nobody gets hurt. You, come here. No! Now. <laughs> Open the door. <laughs> you two, secure the lobby now. Get the problem here. Something's gone wrong. Let's go check it out. The cops are here. Let's begin plan B. I thought you had everything all worked out. How do we get surrounded by the police? Listen, this plan is foolproof if you'll just follow my orders. Whoa, whoa. Hey, take it easy. Let's just listen to him. All right. You see the ventilation tunnel? It leads to the MTR maintenance dock. Pardon me.
Now they have no way to come down. We'll leave through the ventilation tunnel. We'll use the maintenance car that's there. All right, Paul, ready to go? Blow that vent. Got it. Gentlemen, this way. Is there any other way to get into the vault? Oh, no. David, look at this! Unbelievable! We're set for life! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 
What was that? All right, we've blown it. What do we do next? There's nothing else to do. Just go and grab your money. What do you think? We'd better be careful. It all seems too easy. When we get in the clear, do them in. Are you kidding? We do it or they do it. Come on. What's this area here? That's the maintenance dock for the subway. Call the MTR. We want to lay out of their system. Yes, sir. Sir, something's up over there. Take a look. Let's go. I need him to get the explosives and follow me. Go ahead. We'll meet you later. Go. Come on. Time's running out. Let's go. Sir, take a look. To the subway. This is it. What? Blow it up. Come on. Bags out. I'll be back. Yes, sir.
Get these people out of here. Then block the exit. Police, open up! We're HKPD. We think there's suspects in the tunnel system. We need your help. Where does that lead to? Mm, that goes downtown all the way to the harbor. Is there any way to stop the car? It's driver operated. Coming train left the downtown station? It left just now. There must be something we can do. Uh, there's an emergency cutoff system? Well, it's an emergency. There are explosives aboard that oh. car. It can't leave the tunnel. Oh. Okay. away. Follow me. Yes, sir. Right away. Don't kill me. Please. I'll give you all the money. Here. Take it. Don't kill me. You think I care about that stupid money? You think that's what I'm all about? Huh? Don't move! If you shoot me, we all go to hell. David, stay where you are! David! How could you lie to me? I was just doing it for us. I really thought that I could... You thought what? You actually thought I'd never find out and you'd be able to get away with this? Come on, David. Are you out of your mind? Freeze! Hold your fire! Put him in your sights! What are you doing? We've come so close to achieving our dream. Don't you see? They'll do anything to take it away from us now. Ready? Hold your fire! Can't you understand it's over now? Dave, you've got to give up. We'll have to close the other gate.
that was five years ago. Many things have changed since then, but one thing has stayed the same. I'm still a cop. It's what I do.